morning, Britain. Theresa May faces a constitutional crisis today as MPs from all sides accuse the government of breaking the rules by not publishing its full Brexit legal advice. Parents are to blame for many of the problems facing teachers, and some are even failing to toilet train their children, including the chief inspector of schools, who will join us this morning. And French DJ Martin Solvig is accused of sexism after asking the first ever woman to be given the Ballon d'Or Footballer of the Year award if she would twerk on stage. And it's going to be chilly with plenty of sunshine for most of us today. However, later on, rain will start to spread in from the southwest. All that and more coming up on the programme. Tuesday, 4th of December, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain, 6.01 and 09 seconds, which coincidentally is about the amount of sleep I had last night. Oh, oh what uh, happened? Here we go. Oh, Light two... touch, paper and retreat. You know, when you wake up, that 2.48. Funny enough, I read an interview with Adrian Childs, one of our predecessors. Oh, yes, about On Daybreak, uh, Daybreak uh, or Broken Day, as it was renamed. And um, he's a great bloke. And he, he was brilliant, wasn't he? We love Adrian. Night, right? But he obviously didn't like the mornings, right? Didn't and he, like getting up. He's come out of this interview today saying, I just... By the time I got in at five o'clock, I was in such a terrible mood, I could just feel myself dragging everyone down with me. It's a bit of an impediment for a <laughs> well, breakfast show. Yeah, but he saw that as a negative. I, I, I feel exactly the same way. And it uh, fires you Adrian. up. And it, well, I don't know about that, but it's just, you know, it's just, it, it's a killer. There's you a much like difference a zombie doing between it. this morning and yesterday morning, isn't there, with you? Uh, the joy of yesterday morning with Arsenal. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because um, my, my joy has been slightly dissipated, as always with being a football fan you should accentuate all the positives. And then a little negative starts to get in your head. And then you start to think, right, mm. what's this all about, right? Mesut Ozil, who is arguably our best player, right? World-class footballer. But didn't play uh, at the weekend. Didn't play at the weekend, had muscle spasms in his back, right? The manager was unable to say how he got these, or even if he was at the game, right? He may not play on Wednesday against Manchester United. He's missing two of the biggest games of the season. What's Here's the theory that an Arsenal fans have come up with, which <laughs> is fascinating, right? Right. He likes Fortnite, the game. There he is. There he is on the right, Mesut Ozil. He loves Fortnite. So much so Your kids probably that he has Fortnite. currently, apparently, 600 wins and 8,000 kills on Fortnite, which is 